people of the purple butterfly here, otherwise known as people of seven on Twitter and YouTube, people of elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purple butterfly bad people dot blogspot dot com and my soaps can be purchased at people dot etsy dot com. And I just made a shampoo bar with peppermint oil. I used almost this entire bottle and that's pure peppermint oil. And a half a bottle of eucalyptus oil and some silk, some grapeseed oil, some rice bran oil, some mango butter, some coconut, some palm, etc., etc., etc. It's like basically all my favorite things to use in my hair, I put in the shampoo bar. And then I use magic purple to color it. This is an amazing purple when you mix it with water. Not so much when you mix it with oil. I learned that the hard way. So it's got a in the pot swirl with the magic purple and the natural color soap. I didn't use titanium dioxide, so there's no stark white. There's just a kind of a yellowish natural and the purple. Then because well, I like doing fun things. I mix the magic purple with some diamond dust mica, which has a almost glittery effect, and a little Patagonian purple, which almost looks like an amethyst until it reaches a certain temperature because it's not stable in a high pH environment, at which time it'll turn almost a cranberry red. So I mixed the three together and sprinkled it on, and it looked almost like a purplish silver chrome on top of the soap, which was amazing. But once it reaches a certain temperature and it turns reddish, then you have to imagine reddish, purplish, silver, like a chromium effect. So that's going to be real interesting when it comes out of the oven. I did decide to seat pop it, so that way I'm trying to encourage it to overheat just a little bit so it will get really, really hard. And then I'm still going to give it a long cure day. But, you know, just to get the soap to the texture that I like, especially when I'm super exciting at 8% and it's got a little oil on top of it and I want the oil to sort back into the final mix, that's what I do to get it to do that. So, in the meantime, my hair is at that awkward lift where it's tickling the back of my neck every time I wear it down. I had it the other day. Every time I turned my head to like turn the bus or whatever, something kept going I'm like, is there something flying around here? And my hair was basically doing this. I forgot it does that at this length. So what I'm going to do is maybe put it back up or at least put the back of it up until it grows just past my collarbone when it's hanging. Because, you know, and it's, if I pull it, it's already past my collarbone, as you can tell, especially in the back. But when it's at its normal place where it curls up about 50%, I don't have to worry about it hanging or even sweeping my collarbone. But in the back, because it's lower down, it does that. So I'm going to figure out what hairstyle I'm going to wear it in that it doesn't do that tickle, tickle, tickle. Anyway... I can't open the oven and take the seat pop out yet, but when I can, you will be the first to see it. I will be cutting this soap sometime tomorrow and then letting it cure for a very, very long time. Mom's going, when's it going to be ready? I got people on Facebook asking me when's it going to be ready. My best friend has already said, I can't wait. I'm claiming one now. You know. And, hello, I got dibs on it, too, because the shampoo bar that I have in there now, and that one was made with confetti scent. In other words, I took coffee and peppermint and a couple of other things and mixed it together. And it's a custom blend because, hello, I made it. But some of the things I used to make that scent is no longer available. And I used a little bit of grapefruit and bamboo mixed in to uh, not cover the smell of the peppermint and eucalyptus, but to kind of like temper it down so it's not so overwhelming. If the bamboo and white grapefruit isn't even smelled, at least it's not, the, you know, 
if it's overshadowed by the peppermint, at least it's not being overwhelmed because that lent to the peppermint scent, so the peppermint is not overwhelming. It's not making the eyes water and all that. But by the same token, the peppermint might keep the bamboo and white grapefruit from flourishing. But all in all, the interesting scent, it smells almost like um, a Wrigley Spearmint gum um, in this kitchen <laughs> because of the shampoo bar. I'm thinking that's the influence of the eucalyptus oil. Don't know. I don't even know if all three scents will compete or even make it past gel stage. But I'm enjoying it. Either way, I'm still going to have an invigorating, tingling sensation when I wash my hair with it. So, y'all stay blessed. Stay tuned. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my blog at Peepla. Okay, let's try it again. Check out my blog at Purple Butterfly dash people dot black spot dot com and check out my soap at people dot sc dot com <laughs> y'all stay blessed bye now